and we're live hopefully yeah people can hear us. <laughs> i think it's good <laughs> sorry we're a bit late uh, it's the first stream we've done in a long time so yeah. um yeah sorry a bit late we'll get started right now hello everyone so do you want to introduce yourself yeah i'm uh, lucie Dewanier. i'm uh, the game director on the rock prince of persia and I'm Matt, I'm the marketing manager for the game, so you've probably seen some of my posts on Steam and Twitter and everywhere else. Yeah. Um, so yeah, today we're just going to do like a quick 30 minute game gameplay um, and do some Q&A with a focus on why we're doing early access, who we are even Empire and why inspirations for the game are. And we'll, we'll do more Q&As at other dates on other, other subjects, so keep an eye out for those. Yeah, absolutely. Should we go for it? Yeah, so we, we can run the game. Yep. Fingers crossed that everything works. <laughs> well, no need to, to get your finger crossed. Everything works, it's sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we say that, but they're still learning. Yeah. We've cursed it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh no, it's no. good. Yeah, this is game. So let us know in the chat if you can't hear any of the sound of the game, if you can't hear us, if, if everything's going okay. And yeah, we'll get started. <sighs> so yeah, this is the opening of the game. This is the what you'd see when you first begin. Um, so I guess we'll go for it. So hopefully you can already appreciate the music. Um, we've got a um, half Indian, half American guy. Yeah. SRD, who made that. Uh, he's, he, he's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. His music is cool, but uh, the um, himself. The man cool. himself. The man himself is so cool. He actually proposed uh, his girlfriend uh, on stage. Oh, and you? and she, she, she said yes. Uh, oh, okay. It was so, so cute. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he's got like a whole wall full of traditional Persian instruments, like really old stuff. And obviously you can hear he kind of mixes it with like modern trap. Um, so yeah, we think you kind of nailed that Prince of Persia, Persia vibe. Um, but obviously we we're going to say that, but I think it's true. Yeah, so yeah, well, uh, just to do a quick, I guess, breakdown. Uh, game, game music lower, please. Game music lower. I'm... I, I, I can... I can go on here, I Yeah, rather than touching the settings, yeah. probably a good idea. But we will mess it up. Um, so yeah, just uh, this game will be coming out in Early Access on May the 14th, as you can see in the corner. <laughs> um, and yeah, so the whole point of doing Early Access was, was our choice. We, we wanted to do that. Um, yeah. It's a great way to interact with the community and get proper feedback to make the game as good as it can be. Yeah, like I always say, we we could have done the game without the early access, mm. but it, it, at Level Empire, we really stressed uh, into the strength of the community, the strength of working with the player themselves, mm. and we, uh, we 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 want, we believe in the community, we believe in the player, we want to to work with you and uh, to make the, the best version of the game together and not just uh, cooking on the side and uh, <laughs> no yeah, yeah. We, we need the community because we, we like working with you yeah and we think it, it makes a better game at the yeah as well. absolutely yeah. Who, who knows uh, the game better that uh, I know the game very well because mm. I worked on it but uh, I'm no more a player. Uh, I'm no longer a player of the game. So only player will know what feel to play the game. Yeah. Because right now I'm playing as a game developer, not as a player. Yeah. And um, what did I want to say? I've got it. Sorry, we passed something else. Um, so it's been a long week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another week is uh, yeah. is very tiring. Yeah, it was a stressful week <laughs> with, uh, with uh, the yeah. announcement, uh, the it was a great game, yeah. it was awesome, but it was very successful. Yeah, so we decided to do a stream at 5 p.m. on a Friday. Yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> great idea. the best idea ever. Um, oh no, yeah, we got it. 
So yeah, Early Access will basically be us um, releasing regular updates with like chunky pieces of content. Um, and we'll be gathering feedback kind of before with like an alpha process. And then once we released it, we won't just be like, okay, it's done. Like if mm. people find this, it means something wrong or something which could be fixed or tweaked. Of course, we're, we're, we're listening to plays yeah, all the time. Absolutely. Um, and it's definitely not like we're releasing a, a game which isn't like, finished. Like the core gameplay is, we're very happy with it. Um, this isn't just like a testing thing. It's, yeah. We're very happy with how the game is. Yeah. Um, we just need the community. Yeah. We, the community. We, we have the 80% 80, 80 of the game, but we want to make it the 20% uh, that left that is left yeah. uh, with the community because this 20 is, uh, last percent are the, the most important one yeah and um, I see that we have some questions in the chat yeah um, uh, tati tati. Um, did we did we get to show the game to Jordan Mechner uh, yes it was not um, participating participating in the de development uh, Itself, but we did uh, get uh, we did show him the game and get some uh, advice and things like that, and he really liked the game. Yeah, yeah. he was very excited when he saw it uh, first time. So it was uh, good news for us because uh, yeah, his work uh, his, his work was an inspiration for me uh, and on Karateka and on uh, Prince of Persia. So it was awesome to yeah. to have him like the game. Um, it's another question. Uh, there's loads of them. Yeah, um, it, it, it should be such a good partner. The, this is a, 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 a very interesting question because uh, what uh, Evil Empire is doing with Ubisoft? How did we end up uh, working there's on the There's the Ubisoft guy waiting just behind there with yeah. the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I admit to. But uh, yeah, it was um, it was um, um, marvelous to work with Ubisoft because they gave us a lot of liberty. We had uh, total freedom, and um, like you, you we, we are releasing on Steam. Uh, it's the first game, uh, first early access on Steam from Ubisoft from a long time. Uh, we had, we, we can do what we want with the game mm -hmm. uh, except uh, making it with making the uh, FPS game or again <laughs> things <laughs> but, but it's not uh, it's not uh, Prince of Persia so since uh, if we stay true to what is Prince of Persia mm -hmm. they, they, they rise with us and the yeah. collaboration is plus that's it you kind of had full creative freedom to yeah. make what you wanted obviously you, we have like milestones with them they have to approve some things but the whole point was we made a Prince of Persia game, so they weren't really going to step on our toes. They saw what we did and saw that it was going well, so they just didn't keep doing that. And, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, when is the Alpha? Uh, we are working on it uh, right now. You will you will be receiving email when it will uh, be uh, ready. Yeah. So. Um, are we planning to release on Switch? Uh, we can't. Uh, for now, we will be focused on making the best of the early access phase, and we will we will release on console for the uh, the final uh, release uh, when the early access will be finished. But we don't know for now what will be the consoles. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I like this uh, view of the city. I did see one like a little visual bug. Oh like, no! no. It, it's a pre-build of early access, so there's going to be yeah. some little things. The, the, the build is um, is uh, older than uh, what uh, the alpha player will get. Yeah. Um, shall we just quickly talk a little bit about the the move set as well? Yeah. The move set of the prince. Um, so I guess you've been watching, and you'll see there's like a kick, there's a small dash, there's a stomp move. There. We yeah. cannot kick right? <laughs> blue, blue yeah, in me. Kicking the shield guy doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, what, what did I do? Um, and yeah, um, everything. Um, like you, you're, you're seeing me play, and uh, we, we think that the character is um, is uh, very very agile and. Um, 
Uh, the is very agile and uh, make a, can make a lot of cool moves. And it's, that mm -hmm. was something we wanted to do uh, from the beginning because all all the game is um, uh, built around the movement. Everything needs to be moving and everything yep. needs to be uh, need to to be moved uh, too. Um, like you can kick the enemy, you can yeah. make them uh, make them crash each other and things like that. So the movement was uh, needed to be very cool and to be very um, to be pleasurable. Um, yeah, pleasurable. Yeah. 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 But yeah there's really like that. Oof. Yeah. I can tell you've been playing a lot. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely like a this like seamless flow between the platforming and the combat. Yeah. It feels like you. Should... You can kind of you don't stop moving basically once you look controls down. Funny thing, uh, this um, this room is a challenge room and it was added not long time ago by uh, our level designer Louis, and I don't know it. Oh, I did it first time. Uh, yeah, you just showing, oh, I don't yeah, know it, but I'm, I just do it first time. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you'll see new uh, new equipment uh, chest uh, where you can uh, unlock new uh, new new weapon and new trinket like this one that the easy thing of teleportation uh, quick move. Mm -hmm. um, so you get to use it for this run to get a feel for it. Yeah. But then you then yeah. have to unlock it back at um, at the hub. Yeah. The you, Oasis. You found the weapon, but you need to build it uh, in the Oasis, the hub uh, of the game. Uh, to be to in order to to be able to spawn it during your future runs. Um, we have some question. Um, so I don't read one else, so you can keep, uh, yeah. keep playing. Okay. Animations look very flawless. How much time did it take to do them? That's a big question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a it's a lot of back and forth um, for, to, to make uh, the, the animation of the game. I think we we, we did something like uh, 10 or 20 iterations on the back wall itself. Uh, the, even something as simple as the running animation uh, uh, was done a lot of time. <laughs> um, but uh, our animator, because we have uh, only one animator, um, is doing a great job to make uh, the character alive and um, agile. Yeah, so as you said, one animator, like, we're a small team. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's a Prince of Persia game, but there's only like 15-ish people, yeah. 20 people working on it at Absolutely. any one time. Absolutely. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is... Yeah, this is why it's going to be good to be in the Nexus as well, because we can also get your feedback on this kind of stuff and make small adjustments if we need to, if we want to. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's all all connected. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. So I'm just looking at the. Um, I'm I'm looking at the, at the screen and I'm not playing right. I'm sorry <laughs> for my perform my poor performance. You're selling the game wrong. <laughs> yeah. <or not. laughs> Um, how long is the game as of now? Um, good question. Yes, good question. If you're very good, I think you can finish as uh, early access uh, in something like 8 to 10 hours. Uh, maybe if you're very good, a bit uh, quicker than that. Uh, but we will uh, release uh, new content, a new biome, new thing uh, very often uh, after the launch. Uh, after the early access launch, so you will be getting new uh, content uh, very often. <laughs> so you will never get uh, without something to to play, uh, new to play. Yeah. Um, I think there's quite a lot of questions about languages. Yeah. Um, so we'll just explain the decision to release with just English, French, and Chinese, both yeah. simplified and traditional. Um, basically, the whole point of Early Access is to get, is to get feedback from players and to, to work with them to implement it. So we're English and French and we have uh, some, some Chinese uh, speakers here as well. So it's to start with a question of collecting feedback uh, and working with that. But of course, we have plans to add basically every language yeah. possible yeah. during Early Access. Yeah, um, uh, 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 especially at 1.0. Yeah, there absolutely. will definitely be Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's not. Um, I don't. I, 
I would like to have uh, long languages like yeah. Persian and things like that because it's a Prince of Persia game. Exactly. <laughs> but um, yeah, since we we do, does not talk uh, those long languages in, in the team, it will be too 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 too, too much work for us uh, right now to, yeah. to do it. But they are... we are a little ta little team. Yeah, but they are coming. Like, yeah. Don't worry about that. They're coming. And probably during early access, uh, yeah. we, we're not quite sure because that's the whole point of access. It's like fluid, but yeah, it will depend on uh, what uh, player uh, give us uh, as feedback and what uh, will be the priori the priority uh, then. But uh, maybe it will, uh, yeah, the yeah, because again, we are a small team, so <laughs> can't do everything. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how many biomes or bosses are in the early access version? With that, that we can say. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, six uh, biomes and two bosses. Yeah. And you will see one of them uh, just right now. And hopefully, uh, I will be uh, able to get it, get past it. But I'm not sure. <laughs> because yeah, we're gonna see. talking and playing is very really hard. <laughs> <laughs> There you can see we've put little nods to, to the Prince of Persia series, like the fountain. It's yeah. pretty, pretty sands of time. Yeah, it's... Uh, Even his dodge is... It's... Yeah. We, 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 heavily inspired. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we, we like the Sand of Time trilogy a lot uh, in the team. It's, uh, for, for me, it's... Uh, is... Yeah, it's one of the... I played this game with my mother, mm. and it was a uh, it, good memory to, to, yeah. <laughs> to, to remember this game. Yeah. So. I remember playing it. And I remember I played it and I unplugged everything and took it over to my friend's house to show him the game. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, so it's, there is um, a lot, there are a lot of small things that mm. remind us of uh, this franchise and this uh, trilogy. And, uh... So, yeah, this is the first boss. Um, what we're basically saying to you, like, use the wall, right? <laughs> yeah. If you don't, if you didn't understand how the war one is working right now, you will get, get your ass kicked. <laughs> and even if you even understand, if... yeah, <laughs> you might. Yeah, get the first right time, thing. very likely get your ass. Yeah, I'm. I'm... Yeah. Let's go. Oh. You're not giving a realistic view here after you, because you played it about a million times. Yeah, because I know this boss, but. Uh, anything else, what have we got? So yeah, what would the cosmetic items like in the Lost Crown? Um, not at early access launch. Sorry, what? Cos cos oh, sorry, yeah, I, I was focused on, the, on not dying. <laughs> I didn't know the answer to this one. Um, oh, let's go. No, not at early access launch. Um, because obviously we're focused on the, the gameplay, the game feel, make sure we've got new content, like crunchy content in. Um, but I'm sure at some point we'll have Uh, what else have we got? Sorry, I'm just trying to get through which ones we've got. Answered that one. I think it's a bit of a delay on, on the chat. Ah. I think some people are just joining, so they're asking, asking again about consoles. Um, so yeah, console plan is to, to release once we've got version 1.0 um, finished. Um, it'll just be on Steam and Access for the foreseeable future, yeah. but it, it is coming. Are uh, you actually not doing too well? Um, are you no, deliberately no, dying? No, so not deliberately. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I'm, I'm, I I, uh, I forgot to do. Uh, listen to you because I'm focused on not dying, <laughs> and uh, it's. Uh, well, I talk and I <laughs> and, and it, yeah. I gave you an excuse to say yeah. It's because I'm. Uh, I just want to show them uh, the oasis. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> the, the, the oasis is my favorite biome. <laughs> it's not because oh yeah. I, I always forget uh, is um, her uh, headbutt. Uh, oh no! Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just try and get a decent build and tank it, but it never works. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I told him I forgot. Uh... So this is kind of the prince's like time power in in this in this version. Um, it's his bowler, yeah, which he got as a child, as a baby, yeah. as a gift. 
and it basically puts him back to the last safe place he was in before he dies. Yeah, it's um, the, the prince is living a rogue life. Yes, uh, because, because... we're owning that rogue life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good market. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a rock life because he, and he use it to learn uh, a lot of things, how to mm -hmm. make um, ac um, acrobatic thing. And mm -hmm. he tried to when he was young, he tried to uh, jump from roof to roof, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, sometimes he will fall and go back in time and then try again. And yeah. so for for him, it's everything is easy, but he made a mistake yeah. and basically he screwed up his save. Yeah. And um, he stuck uh, after uh, uh, the beginning of a war. Yeah, he and he can't figured, go back. Yeah, yeah, he can't go back. So he need to think for uh, for, uh, for for this time uh, because mm -hmm. he is more than an, um, an action guy than a thinker. And yeah. uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So yeah, he's just a bit reckless. So yeah. So that's kind of his journey, I guess, uh, in this game, is that, yeah, he's skilled, yes, in weapons and in acrobatics and everything, but he just lacks that strategic thinking. Yeah. And now he's started the war, he can't go back because he has no control over the bowler. Um, and now he has to deal with his consequences and basically learn to become the hero he actually wants to be, hmm. um, rather than just kind of pretending because he's, he's awesome. Yeah. No. <laughs> you have to protect your people too. Um, I see um, a very interesting question about um, accessibility feature. Mm. Um, this is uh, something we worked uh, from D1 or D2. If uh, <laughs> uh, it was um, it was a big question during the de development of the game, so we did a lot of effort to make the game accessible uh, in terms of uh, visibility issue, in terms of color blindness or uh, muscle uh, issue. Uh, we are, um, you can rebind your, uh, your controller, you can uh, adjust the um, size uh, of uh, divers, several texts and things like that. We took what we learned on the um, accessibility update from that side. Mm -hmm. But since we are still in uh, early access, uh, there, is lo there are a lot of things we didn't did uh, yet. Yet. Uh, yet. Yet being the word. Yet. Yes. There will, more will be definitely be coming. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Because uh, we want everyone to be able to enjoy this game. Yeah. So this is the Oasis, obviously. Um, basically, it's a bit empty because it's the first run. Um, but this will be where you unlock new things. There's characters you talk to. Um, basically, your, your Zen zone. Your, your place of peace. Yeah, and the music in the Oasis is oh, yeah. very good. <laughs> I like it. Uh, you can you can just uh, put your controller, but don't don't do it like the game. <laughs> but and listen to the to the to the music. What else we got? Is it like brand new Prince of Persia lore, or does it follow what has already been written? So, um, yes, a standalone adventure. Yeah, it's a yeah. standalone adventure with a new. Um, uh, new character, new universe, and uh, everything is made for this game. Yeah. That doesn't mean we, we might not include a little nod to something somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely it's not linked. It's it's its own thing. What's this? Oh, <laughs> medallion. Uh, this is our main uh, progression uh, system. You can. You can um, get medallion, you can equip them uh, in uh, several slots. Uh, and uh, what is interesting about this is um, each medallion will uh, upgrade the one uh, beside it. Mm -hmm. So you can have a level 1, 2, 3 medallion, and the power of the medallion will improve uh, with the level. So uh, right now I have um, a wall. when I kick something into into the wall, it will set a fire in the in the area mm. beside the, the character. Uh, for since it's burn one, it's a small area. area. Uh, if I manage to upgrade it, it will be a big uh, sea of uh, flame, <laughs> and uh, that will burn everything. And yeah. And there's other things you can have. Other effects which yeah. can like stack and create new. Yeah, and new you effects. you also can uh, 
I, I let you discover it uh, um, when you get the game uh, in your hand, but uh, you can combine uh, combine uh, combine effect uh, together mm. to make explosion and things like that. And this is kind of a way how you can create your own build yeah. in a way. Um, depending on what weapon you have, if you prefer to use your kicks, if you prefer to do something else, you kind of can construct how you want to play, basically. Yeah, and uh, your weapon will interact with the system too. Um, oh, I get the wire set up because I... Show them something different. Yeah, and, uh, yeah it, it, it's not <laughs> because I like it. <laughs> it's to make something, to do for something different. So. Get, <laughs> Get in a bin. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the saber too, actually. I like the sound effect. Yeah, absolutely. Not the only reason I like it. This dodge is um, it's, uh, it's a big nod. Uh... Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, will the story be important and integrated with the gameplay? Uh, like a quest for a character needs to be completed to access a new weapon, for example. Uh, very absolutely. good question. Yeah, very, very, very good. Are you sure you're not someone from the quad team? <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing asking questions in the chat. Um, yeah, it will be very um, linked to the gameplay because um, we have something called the narrative exploration. Uh, since you have in a time loop, uh, you'll um, revive the same day over and over uh, mm -hmm. and you can try some different route to make a different decision and see different things so maybe you'll, you'll see just right now be perfect time I, yeah but, <laughs> but, uh, thank you uh, people from the team <laughs> um, i can talk with the um, chief uh, the village chief asade uh, she's a bit a bit crazy and she she fight uh, against the Han uh, alone to defend her village. And she talk uh, with me about the uh, ants camp. Um, and then I co uh, can uh, go there. If I go to the ants camp, I can find uh, other things. Mm -hmm. I can uh, maybe find a clues or things like that or different objects that I can, I can use in, uh, in the next biome but I could not talk to Azade because I already did uh, I went to the uh, the uh, the camps, camps so uh, there is diff with the route you will be yeah. you'll talk uh, you have different choice and different um, Come. Yeah, yeah. So there's different paths you can take basically. Yeah. Now, now we're in Azagwa's village, it's at the same level as the Hun War camp, so you can't go there. Yeah, thank you for that yeah. because <laughs> I'm, I'm like you, 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 uh, I'm a bit, uh, you can earn, I'm a bit uh, strong baguette, uh, <laughs> very, very uh, English speaker. <laughs> I thought I'd let you uh, try. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're doing very well. Translate uh, my English for the English speaker, please. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm, I'm looking yeah. at the wrong thing. <laughs> so yeah, because we were going through the first like two levels, you've seen like four or five different enemies. Uh, um, but then obviously in the later levels, there's there's different ones you'll see. There's they're, they're more difficult ones, which will yeah. force you to kind of adjust how you play. So it's not just like the same ones. Um, there, there's plenty of uh, variety later yeah. on in, in so what did you have to face? There is something interesting uh, at the screen right now. It's mm. uh, the weapon I just uh, looted. I uh, have a bonus uh, if uh, I damage an enemy that is possible. So it will interact with me. It will not interact with my uh, kick in uh, the uh, no, fire uh, if, uh, if you kick in the wall. But uh, I can begin to uh, search for uh, other uh, medallion and things like that. Is this another challenge room? Yeah. yeah. Know it. Oh, that's always. I hate that part. It's, it's so difficult, that bit. You get it, to get the timing right. This one, uh, I need to as well. <laughs> yep, uh, I think these actually might be my favourite parts sometimes. The little platforming bits. 
Yeah. Oh, man, it's so fun. It's like, nice to like breathe in my little Yeah, it's a change of pace. Yeah. Uh, and you'll, you'll get a cool thing like mm. this javelin. You can throw and uh, then pick up and you can throw it. And then you will fight with your, with your feet. Uh, no, fist. fist. Because <laughs> fist, fist is not a. Fist the kick. Yeah, it's not a same thing. Thank you. I'm here, don't worry. <laughs> and then we have the chakram. The classic. And how do you say brochette? Brochette? Uh, you can say brochette in English. Yeah. The skewer? The skewer. The skewer. So I need the skewer. So it's a brochette in a fancy restaurant and there's a skewer everywhere. A kebab. A honey kebab. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I think we haven't done a question for a while. Um, what have we got? It's answered. Um, there is there are question about the alpha. Um, uh, like we said earlier, uh, we will uh, get back to you uh, when mm -hmm. the thing is ready. So you start from us um, soon. Very soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's the main quest for the prince? I guess it's kind of what we said earlier. It's, um, so he's triggered this this hunt invasion, and now he can't go back in time to stop it. Um, I don't know. We'll do this first. Yeah. Yeah. This is a uh, spirit glimmer. It's something that uh, it's um, some shard of uh, the the ants magic, uh, and you can collect them to spend them in your the oasis to make the new weapon and a new medallion uh, appear in your runs, and you can unlock new content, new, po new power, and new and things like that with them. So you need to collect them. But you cannot, uh, when you die, you cannot keep them. So you need to save, save, save them, yeah, to bank spend, them, to bank <laughs> them using the fire you, you, you just saw. Um, and maybe you can take risk um, and keep them, maybe, and things like that. Uh, you need to do the choice. Uh, do, we, do I bank it or do I spend it right now? Um, and things like that. So. Mm -hmm. And the gold in the top right is just, you have it for one run and then it's gone. Yeah. But you get loads of it, so it's fine. So then you have to choose, do I want to upgrade this weapon or do I maybe keep it? Because well, I'm going to find a different one or I really want this weapon at the, at the, the merchant, so I'm going to buy it right now. Um, just gives you uh, some choices to make, basically, throughout the run. I'm, I'm sorry, I just saw that my girlfriend is in this chat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not blessed <laughs> under. It's fine. She's proud. Um, so yeah, I was talking about the, the main quest. But yeah, it's basically, there's a hunting invasion which the prince is triggered. Um, he's kind of stuck in this, in this time loop of living the, the same day. Uh, a few days after the invasion has started, and now he has to find a way to to stop it, basically. Um, I don't really want to say much more, because that's, that's yeah, you the story is there for you to discover, but yeah. that's basically his, his predicament. For the early access, uh, you will be, uh, um, you will be, you will have, you'll have access to the first uh, act of the game. There will be three of them, uh, and we'll be uh, adding them during the, the early access. The early access. Yeah. Yeah. So you discover it through interactions with different characters. Some of them are your family, the royal family. Some of them, some of them are other people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we think it's just pretty interesting story. I like it. It's cool. It's a, it's a fight. Save your family, save your country. Yeah. Uh, story. Yeah. Uh, Become a better man, like the classics, the Prince of Persia stuff. <laughs> oh, Sparks is uh, is. Uh, it's congratulating me for the brochette. Oh, thank you for the brochette. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty proud of this uh, this one. <laughs> uh, what can I buy? Yeah, more HP. That's always good. Yeah, always. Uh, I'll keep my uh, my pochette, uh, I think. Is the game set in Persepolis? 
No, no it's uh, in Stacy. The um, old name of the uh, of uh, uh, capital. Um, and everything happened uh, in Stacyphon or uh, around it. I we tried to to. It's we we took inspiration uh, from. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. sorry. We <laughs> we took inspiration from uh, history uh, mm -hmm. to make the to make the settings of the game. Uh, we tried to we we not we did not try. We made <laughs> on uh, what were the clothes of the of the hands of the fashion uh, people thing like that. Um, we will make improvement because uh, I this is a, a part of story that is not well documented because mm. everything was either uh, destroyed by the war, either was um, more of a, not written. It was more of an oral tradition. Okay. Of, so it got uh, lost. Yeah. So it got lost. So we tried to 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 make the, the most of it. That uh, we we need to improve things, but we pretty proud of um, our little fantasy uh, <laughs> fantasy Persia because it's still um, yeah. it's still a fantasy game, fantasy settings. Uh, and you've got Huns with like dark magic. Kind of yeah, stuff, so. yeah, because yeah. <laughs> it's not an accurate retelling of history. <laughs> yeah, Huns didn't use dark magic and didn't add yeah. um, uh, a and things like no. that. But you need to, to add something. Like yeah, it's kind of like. A fairy tale someone would tell of in that kind of time, I guess. Yeah. And um, to I see a question about uh, the um, the dagger and uh, what I can do with the wall. Yeah, I can use my dagger everywhere to slow me down and to uh, try to control my uh, descent. My descent. Yeah. yeah. And there's a level later on where it's quite important yeah, yeah so it, if you don't want to take a load of damage it's um, <laughs> it's a um, it's a bit an advanced uh, mover that you'll discover uh, when you have a, a bit of experience in yeah. the game because yeah, these first levels obviously the the platform is quite but well, say easy or simple um, but you've got loads of places to loads of room loads of walls and then in later levels there's some kind of tighter corridors places where there's not much back wall so you have to be more um, Deliberate with your movements, I guess. Yes, yeah, absolutely. The game we will be, it's a light, so the game will be hard. Uh, we try to make it uh, fair mm -hmm. uh, um, and accessible, but uh, so there is a progression of the difficulty. Um, I'm sorry, I'm skipping the dialogue very fast. Uh, <laughs> Mado is <laughs> my, my narrative designer will, will, will kill me after that. <laughs> So uh, it's uh, the last time we speak together. <laughs> um, so um, um, what I was saying, uh, yeah, it will be a hard game, but a fair game. And uh, there is a progression of the difficulty. So it's um, the, the platforming will be more and more difficult. The enemy will be more and more difficult. Mm -hmm. But uh, even in the first biome, you will die a lot. Yeah. Here I can. Uh, uh, upgrade my weapon so since I like my javelin and I didn't unlock it yet so if I die I will lost it. Uh, lose it lose yep, it lose it lose it so it's a tense um, I upgrade it uh, at max level and I will get to be rude the first boss and kick her ass <laughs> we hope no I know <laughs> Ooh, not bad. Yeah, but I have just my fist. <laughs> yeah. It's it's better with the with the weapon play. So that was kind of a perfect example of the how would you say that? the um, the combat move set and why we designed it the way it is. Yeah. Um, you saw like. You did your smash move to stand someone else, you kick someone off a ledge to give you some more room. Yeah. Um, you should be constantly like strategizing and using your different moves yeah. to kind of manage Ask, groups of enemies. Asking yourself, how do I get to this enemy, to this place? 
uh, how can I um, delay, delay this attack or dodge this mm -hmm. one, things like that. We took a inspiration from uh, Jackie Chan movie when, yeah. uh, when Jackie Chan is uh, taking everything in, the, in his vicinity to fight mm -hmm. uh, and using a plant, uh, a tire <laughs> and things like that. It's a bit uh, absurd sometimes, but it's very fun to, see, to, to watch. Fun. Very fun to play. Uh, very fun to play, yeah. <laughs> Second time lucky? Yeah. Uh, my lucky weapon for me. Oh. and that's it. No! But there'll be more. There'll be more Q&As, there'll be more streams, there'll be more everything. Yeah, I hope so. So yeah, I'm sure we didn't answer everyone's questions this time. Um, I think we're never going to. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out on uh, the Discord, we're on the Prince of Persia Discord. We're on Twitter, it'll be Evil Empire's Twitter. You'll see it in the top left corner. Um, come and follow us on the Steam page. Um, we'll be posting announcements whenever we do one and announcements about other stuff. Um, Wishlist it too while you're there, if you don't mind. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll be back. And yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for listening. And yeah, I'm sorry we don't get to shoot the other biome, but I'm going to be the spoiled spot and say. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, it's an uh, old uh, fashion. I warned you. You did warn him. Yeah. Uh, I we don't get to see Berry's gauntlet either. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough, uh, so so I unlock this weapon, but I don't have enough uh, energy to use it. So it will be for another time. So you have to come back and watch again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, bye.